Hello and welcome to the People's Stimulus Check and Stimulus Package Update as of October 2nd, 2020. Well, today, regarding your second stimulus check and the stimulus package, the vote has went into the House and has passed the House 214 to 207. Now the stimulus bill will go on to the Senate where it's going to meet some very stiff opposition. And the only reason why that is is because basically the Republicans are saying the price tag is too high. And I'm not sure if you've heard today, but apparently uh, President Trump and Melania Trump have tested positive for COVID-19. And are being quarantined to the White House. This may or may not affect his uh, political chances of getting back in. We do not know yet. But we will let you, I will let you know as far as stuff goes along is to see whether Biden or and Trump can do their next debate. But for now, Melania and Trump and Donald Trump are according to the White House showing mild symptoms of COVID-19. Chuck Schumer says that if the Democrats win the Senate, he wants to add Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. as giving them statehood to the United States to make them part of the United States. This way we would now have a 51st and 52nd state part of the United States. On the next debate, the, the commission basically wants to have the ability to turn off the mics for the people that aren't speaking. And basically Trump, Donald Trump is throwing a tantrum fit saying that he will not have anything to do with them changing how it is set up currently. And the jobs report came out today, and the economy added 661,000 jobs in September. But now how many jobs did we lose in September is a question compared to how many we gained. The bill that passed the House was called the HEROES Act 2.0, the HEROES Act 2.0 basically, which cost $2.2 trillion. And it comes with a second stimulus check, more PPP money, and extended unemployment. But it's going, to, it's going to meet a brick wall when it goes to the Senate. The Republicans say that the $2.2 trillion package is too expensive. Pelosi said why the House voted on the package this early was to basically formalize the stimulus offer. Nancy Pelosi... Uh, sorry, I can't speak right now. Nancy Pelosi... Also saying that the only reason they voted on the package was so they could go home and campaign. And then say to their constituents, look, we tried to pass the package, but the Republicans didn't pass it. And as you read it, and the funny thing is, is Nancy Pelosi also said that she is working on the negotiations so she can get a bill that we passed by the House and the Senate. And that them not pass, the Senate not voting on the Heroes Act 2.0 is not the last chance for a stimulus package. But as far as for the stimulus package and this for the Senate, they say it's going to be dead upon arrival, just like the Heroes Act first one, because the price tag is just too high. Like the first, so we have the Heroes Act and the Heroes Act 2.0, which neither will get voted on because their price tag is too high. The Senate has already, the Republicans have already set their limit of how much they want to go to, which is $1.62 trillion. That's why they're saying that Pelosi's price tag is too high. Excuse me. Pelosi is urging Biden to drop out of the future debates because she believes it should be a one and done type thing. And if there's one campaign, winner takes all. That's what she, what she thinks it should be. And this is not an election for the presidency, but it is also a election for the Senate for, because their chairs are up for grab. Schumer, the leader of the Democrats in the Senate, says he plans to add Puerto Rico and Washington, D.C. as states of the United States because basically Washington, D.C. is um, basically asking to be part of the United States and Puerto Rico would actually have to vote on it. And in the COVID news, Russia is reporting that their highest case count in months. Which I don't get because they actually have the Sputnik 5. 
why don't they give that to the people and, and see what it does? I mean, it's supposed to be their their vaccine for COVID-19. So why aren't they using it on their people? Or did they already find out that it has some massive side effects and they should have never put it in to the population in the first place? Because if you remember correctly, when it first came out, Putin basically said that I already had my daughter injected with it. Well, maybe his daughter's now having some bad side effects to a drug that didn't go through any clinical trials to find out the problems in the first place. So basically, they said, I mean, he also said he's going to give it to the, all the council, also, uh, sorry, all the people of the Council of the United Nations. And he says he also has other countries out there buying millions and millions of doses of this COVID 19 vaccine. But yet, their case, count, their case counts are up exponentially. Uh, well, I can't believe that. Their case counts are up and they have, a, they have the vaccine there. And Spain is going to go back into lockdown tonight. Portland is reporting a record high case count. And Pelosi and Biden basically... Uh, got tested for COVID-19 and Pelosi's test results have not come back uh, not. yeah I mean Pelosi and Mnuchin got tested for COVID-19 Pelosi's case uh, information hasn't come, been released yet or come back and Mnuchin is clean and also Pelosi released her five major stimulus disagreements with Mnuchin's plan but both Pelosi and Mnuchin are still having negotiations to try to iron those things out. And for the Pelosi's grievances, the first issue is with unemployment. Because as I said, the as I was know yesterday, um, the Republicans want to give $400 a week for unemployment, whereas the Democrats want to give $600 a week. And then the second issue is schools and state and local government funding. Now, why they combine those all the, those three together like that is beyond me. But they're also saying that there's a lot of teachers that won't go back to work because the COVID-19 cases are terrifying or they have been laid off. And the third was the children. Basically, our children is the third problem because apparently Posey put, uh, I, think it was, I think she said like $100 billion into the new Heroes Act 2.0 for the children and the Democrat, the Republicans basically want to give nothing. And the fourth was testing and tracing for the COVID-19. And that what Pelosi originally put in, I think, $144 billion and the Dem and the Republicans basically said no, $100 billion. So they knocked $44 billion out of that package. And the five, fifth and final reason is appropriation. In other words, how to book companies and so they will actually appropriate money. So basically, all of Pelosi's disagreements with the uh, Mnuchin on the stimulus package are, is over money and money only. If that isn't pretty bad. And as I said earlier in my, my video yesterday, that I would actually love to have some of my viewers as well as subscribers or for that matter anyone out there that wouldn't mind taking some video of their current circumstances so I may actually use it in my videos so this way everyone in the world will be able to see what's going on there as well as hopefully the Senate and the, the uh, House will be able to see that them sitting on their ass is not helping out the people it's actually causing a lot more pain and a lot more death this is my whole point of wanting to get the people involved in my video by them donating videos to me to use of their surroundings and how bad it's got for them. But for now, I will actually end my broadcast. So I, I will say to you, all my viewers and all my subscribers and everyone out there that thank you for viewing my content. I hope you guys have a magnificent day. Please stay safe out there. Remember, we're all in this together. And I will send you out a new broadcast tomorrow. Until then, you have a great night. Bye.